Technology, required to make your empire grow and thrive. But how exactly can you do this in the best possible way? I've collected 10 tips that you can apply right now to increase your technology and beat those filthy Xenos. Firstly, in this video, we will be talking about how to increase research speed and research output. These are not the same thing. But what do they actually mean and is one better than the other? The main tech number you see is the research output, which is separated into three research classes, physics, society, and engineering. This is typically earned by jobs such as the research labs or for research stations like this one over here. This is the base resource we will use to get technologies. Research speed essentially represents the expertise in a particular research area. This results in a shorter research time. What exactly does this mean? As you can see here, we have a bunch of research speed modifiers, resulting in a plus 111%. We have a base physics output of 275 coming from our output, and combined with the research speed, we therefore have plus 581 to our progress per month of this technology. Therefore, you do want to increase both as much as you can because you can essentially double your research output like we are doing here. Now we've got that out of the way, let's start with our first tip. Where do we actually build science labs? So if you have watched me for a while, you notice that I always build as many research labs on my capital as possible. Here is the Vassal only game and when I use the capital. Now the reason we put it on our capital is because the capital has the best designation for it giving plus 10% resource from job when you haven't ascended your planet. It also gives stability and amenities, which stability also increases resources from jobs. And you might be saying, there is a research designation. Yes, there is. But unlike, say, the Unification Center, which buffs our bureaucratic output, the tech world only increases the build speed and reduces the upkeep. Now, if you're like me, the upkeep usually isn't a problem, especially mid-game. You just want as much science as possible. So you want these bonus resources from jobs. Now, this isn't always the case. So if you're playing as a habitat or you have a ring world, your empire capital will still give the same. But the research station designation actually gives 10% to researcher output. So when you have habitats, you can make research stations and still receive the buffs. Now on to the next tip, assisting research. This is something I didn't know for a very long time, but is extremely powerful. Assisting research is this button here. And if you click it on one of your planets that has tech output, it will buff it by 10% at base. And for every scientist level, the assist research goes up by 2%. So as you can see here, from the production, we are getting plus 14% to each science produced from research assistance. This is something you can do right now in your game. Just get a science ship and assist research. Now, you all know that materialist gives research speed, but what you might not know is this text at the top academic privilege living standards. Now, if you come over to species, set rights, living standards, you have a whole bunch of living standards that some are locked, but you will have academic privilege if you're a materialist. What this does is increase happiness, which will help with stability and amenities, but the key is plus 10% to your technology output. This doesn't come for free, however you will have to spend 0.5 consumer goods per specialist from decent conditions. However, if your consumer goods are under control, this hefty upkeep won't be too bad. As you can see from the research assistance previously, we have academic privilege plus 10% too. Now on to my next favorite one, the curator order that is wiggling violently. If you don't know you found them, come over to contacts and uncheck all of these boxes except for other. Now you can find them easily alongside all the other enclaves or traders. So you can ask to be aided in your research and then purchase this service. This will cost you some form of energy credits and I think this is dependent on how far you are into the game, but give you plus 10% research speed. It's just as easy as that. With some energy credits, you can get 10% research speed. Now on to research agreements. Now, these tech numbers do not mean research output. It actually shows how many technologies that they don't know that I know from each category and vice versa. So if we accept this, we can actually learn 15 society, nine engineering, and one physics tech, and they can only learn a few. Now, this agreement is insane if you are behind. 
or they've gone down a different path like a lot of society. Now these are so powerful because if an empire I have a research agreement with has the technology and I don't, I get plus 25% to that tech as you can see here. This is crazy if you can get friends with an advanced AI early on, or if you're playing Grand Admiral and they've just skyrocketed in tech, or if you're playing online and you're so far behind your friends. Grab a research agreement. Now these do not stack on the same tech, but if you have multiple and one empire has a tech and one doesn't, you'll use the person who does have it. So make sure to get those research agreements if you are not the most powerful in the galaxy. The next tip is to like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos, tutorials, challenges, the lot, all things Stellaris. The next tip is a bit crazy and Banana Man in my Discord let me know about it. So with the new Overlords DLC it added a bunch of holdings like the Ministry of Science, which for every science ship in orbit will give 3% research speed and take away some loyalty. So what we've done here is made a bunch of vassals ourselves using habitats and planets and park a few science ships over all of these vassals. Now you don't have to go to this extreme, but look at those modifiers. Ministry of Science, Ministry of Science, Ministry of Science, Ministry of Science, Ministry of Science. If you don't go to this extreme and you just have a few Scalarian vassals, I would highly, highly recommend building the Ministry of Science and parking some science ships over them. They don't even have to have a leader in they just cost you the initial alloys and you're done. They can just sit there forever getting you 12% research speed. Along with the Scalarian Vassal, if you have a Hyper Relay Network, you will get plus 10% research output from all your researchers. You can also grab their Scientists, which will give you more research speed if they have that trait. And they will contribute 30% of their research to you. Scalarian Vassals can be very strong. Going down this left path of discovery will also unlock an edict called Research Subsidies. This edict is pretty strong. It increases your research output by 10% while increasing the upkeep by plus one. Alongside this, remember scientists are specialists. So any buffs to specialist output such as egalitarian or fanatic egalitarian or even meritocracy. And don't forget about the traits like intelligence and all the naturals, but you know about those. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll love the time I played as Great Kingdom and could only make subjects. Can I subjugate the galaxy? 